Hello and welcome to Dress Me Amore. For everyone wanting to make a high-waisted maxi skirt, let me show you today how to make the most gorgeous combo of elegant and functional design with stunning details at every angle. The classic A-line silhouette of the skirt drapes down to that lovely maxi length, which is adorned in the middle with utilitarian-inspired box cargo pockets, which complement the side pockets at the waistline, and all of these pockets are perfectly usable. The front zipper closure, meant for easy wear, is decorated with a neat top stitch, which you'll find all around this beautiful skirt. We're going to use our new Olivia skirt PDF sewing pattern, so to follow along, get yours at the link below in the description. Here are the materials you'll need. I'm using this beautiful sage olive green poplin fabric for my skirt, and I recommend a light to medium weight woven fabric to create that beautiful long A-line shape to the skirt. Fabrics like linen, soft denim, and cotton twill will work great. Please refer to your instructional booklet that comes with your pattern to choose the right size and print and assemble the pattern perfectly. The detailed instructions on exactly how to do all of this are right there. So here are our pattern pieces. The front, back, side pocket, pocket lining, fly shield, cargo pocket piece, flap, the waistband, and you also have a fly template. And when you cut your pieces, make sure to always mark the wrong side of the fabric. Okay, subscribe to the channel and let's get to sewing. The first thing we want to do is interface certain pattern pieces as this will give extra stabilization supporting the desired shape of our garment. These are the front panels of the skirt lying wrong side up, the right and left panel. We interface the right panel with a strip of interfacing that's 4.5 centimeters or an inch and three quarters wide and as long as the fly facing. On the left panel, we will cut off 1.5 centimeters of the underlay facing. On the left cut side, this smaller side here is called the underlap, and this other side is called the overlap. We also interface the pocket opening with a 2cm wide strip, and we interface the wrong side of the waistband and the wrong side of the flap, just half of it as well. Now turn your front skirt panels to the right side and place the pocket lining on top, right sides together, along the pocket opening and pin. Stitch from the interface side of the pocket opening and then understitch on the right side of the pocket 2 millimeters or an eighth of an inch from the seam line. After this we can press and then fold the pocket lining to the wrong side and press the pocket opening edge flat. Now I'll pin the edge and top stitch the pocket opening edge 5 to 6 millimeters or a quarter of an inch from this edge and repeat for the other pocket as well. Once that's done, turn the pocket away and clip the seam allowances in half like this. Our top stitched pocket opening looks like this, and we can press this seam again. Now take the side pocket pieces with our wrong side marked, and the front skirt panel is facing right side up. At the side of the pocket and the top of the pocket, there are notch marks, so place the front skirt panel over the side pocket, both pieces lying right side up, matching the top and side marks. When everything matches nicely, pin at the top and along the pocket opening. Turn the panel to the side and pin all around the pocket edge. Now sew and finish the seam allowance edges. Stay stitch the pocket at the waistline and at the side like this, then press to flatten. Now transfer the darts at the back skirt panel to both sides, fold and pin, and then sew them. And then you can press the darts flat to almost embed the stitches into our fabric, and then press them towards the center back. Here we have our beautiful back. Now place the front and back skirt pieces right sides together and pin the side seams, matching all of the marks and sew. Surge the side seams and press the seam allowances towards the back. Use the edge of your ironing board to your advantage here. Now top stitch the side seams 5 to 6 millimeters or a quarter inch from the side seam edge and press the side seam. Now that our side is top stitched, we can move on to our cargo pockets. Take the front detail of the paper pattern. You'll see this top guideline for the flap and then the pocket frame guide which we need to cut and fold away. Lay it down on the front skirt panel, matching it up at the waistline and the center front edge. The skirt is laying right side up here. And mark the top edge of the pocket, the side, and the bottom of the pocket as well. 
Then take a ruler and measure the top edge, 10 centimeters or 3 inches, and then extend that same distance from the bottom mark down. Then connect these edges to form a frame. This is just a guideline, your pocket may be a little smaller. Then take the pocket piece wrong side up, and you'll see that we have the side marks and marks for the pleats. From the outer mark, the second mark from the center, draw a guideline all the way down on both sides of the center, just like this. And repeat to the other pocket as well. Then fold along the guideline, right sides together, and press. And in the same way, do the opposite side. Now flip the pocket to the right side and draw guidelines from the first mark, the one closest to the center of the pocket, draw down on both sides of the center. Fold along that mark, this time wrong sides together, and press just on the edge. Repeat for the other line. So this is what we get. Here's the right side, here's the center of the pocket. Now we have two creases on the right side and two creases on the wrong side. We want to do all this in the same way to the other pocket. And now on each side that we pressed, following the way that we pressed that specific crease, place an edge stitch 1 to 2 millimeters or an eighth of an inch from the pressed edge. Here don't do any back stitching as none is needed on such a stitch. We stitch the creases that we made. And if you turn it to the right side, your fabric will lay in the pleat just like this. So we have a perfect box pleat on the right side. We need to secure the pleats on the top and bottom edges, so pin and top stitch. Just like this. Give it a quick press and search the top edge of the pocket. Press to flatten the seam, and we have marks here at the top, we need to lengthen them just like this. My marks are 3.5 cm or 1.5 inches from the edge, do the same going up from the bottom, and the seam allowances are equal here. Turn it to the wrong side and I'll mark 5 cm or 2 inches down from the top surged edge. Then fold the surged edge into this mark and pin and press the edge. Now on the right side we'll top stitch the edge of the pocket. Top stitch the top edge of the pocket 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch from the edge and press. With the pocket lying right side up, fold the fabric diagonally to join the corner edges and pin. You can leave the seam allowances to 5 mm, a cm or even half an inch. The wider you want the sides of the pocket, the smaller your seam allowances should be. I'll go with 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch. Sew the corners together just like this. The previously drawn guideline matches perfectly at the corner. Take the other corner and fold the fabric diagonally, pin and sew in the same way. Now that we have the corners, press the edges flat, flip it to the wrong side, and clip the seam allowances so that we can open them up and press them. Repeat for both corners. The next step is, according to our previously drawn line, fold the sides of the pocket to the wrong side and press. Do the same all around. This will create that perfectly boxy pocket. Make sure that everything here is even. And top stitch the pressed sides of the pocket. Sew so 1 to 2 millimeters or an eighth of an inch from the edge. Go all the way down to the corner. You can stop close to the corner and start on the other side, or you can do like this. Sew so down to the corner, place the needle right in the very tip of the corner, turn the pocket, and start sewing again. This will create this pretty little top stitched corner, just like this. Now we will serge the pocket edges all around. Press all the edges to bring back the fabric to where it's supposed to be. Press all the serged edges, going around and folding the seam allowances in and pressing them down firmly. Let's see what we have. We press the seam allowances of the serged edges to the wrong side, all around the corners like this, and we have these 3D sides up here. Take a little hook and hide the loose serger thread so they won't be in our way. In the same way, prep the other pocket, making sure that in the end, the pockets are identical. 
take your pocket and mark the center on the top and the bottom. Then take your skirt with our pocket frame guide and place the pocket on the skirt matching the centers of the pocket with the side seam crease. The sides and bottom edges are folded in, so pin the pocket to the skirt. And at this point, you can change the placement of your pocket to higher or lower as you wish. Mark the corners of the pocket frame. Then take a ruler and join these pocket marks into one solid line. And now, turn out the sides of the pocket and pin the folded serged edge of the seam allowances along the guideline that we drew. Do this all around the sides and the bottom. And now we will top stitch the pocket all around. Start sewing with the back stitch. Top stitch 1 to 2 millimeters or an eighth of an inch from the edge. When you reach the corner, we'll stop, place the needle into the center, turn the fabric around, turn away the pocket, and continue sewing. Here's our corner nicely done, and next what we need to do is secure the ends here. Back stitch done, threads clipped, and now we will turn around the pocket and sew a little tack of 3-4 to four stitches back and forth just like this to secure the sides of the pocket at the opening. Give our pocket a nice press, and this is what it looks like. repeat for the other pocket. This is it for part one. Thank you so much for watching. Please await part two of sewing the Olivia skirt and in the meantime get the sewing pattern that we're using at the link below in the description of this video. And happy sewing!